The Adventures of Bluey and Pinky by Savannah Sarkisian and Nune Sarkisian. In a very busy town, there was a beautiful house. A woman called Jane and a man called James lived there. They were husband and wife and were very happy together. But unfortunately, they did not have any children. James was the chief gardener of the biggest park in the town. He grew colorful flowers and tended to the health of all the trees in the park. Jane worked in the town zoo, taking care of the animals, especially those who felt lonely. She talked gently to them and fed them bananas and carrots until they got used to living in the zoo. The director of the zoo was Mr. Square, a very serious man who did everything by the rules. The rules say this, the rules say that, so we should do it by the rules. He was always telling his stuff in a stern voice. He thought that the zoo was the best and safest place for animals, especially those who misbehaved or had nowhere else to go. At the zoo, he thought they would learn how to be good and to always follow the rules. One day, there was a new arrival at the zoo, a baby boy hippopotamus all the way from the faraway continent of Africa. He was very peculiar because he was blue, as blue as the clear sky in the summer. He was brought to the zoo after some people found him alone in the bushes. He looked lonely, so the people thought he was abandoned and didn't have any family. The workers at the zoo called him Bluey. Bluey was very sad in the zoo, but then he met Jane. Jane started to talk to the baby hippopotamus and finally made him feel happy. She asked him many questions. Of course, he was not able to answer any of them, but the way he looked around with wide open, clever eyes, made Jane think that he was listening and understanding. After a while, Jane started to teach him words and phrases. It so happened that in Bluey's enclosure, there was also an uninvited guest. It was a little mouse, and amazingly, she was pink, so Jane called her Pinky. The mouse was not afraid of Bluey or Jane and often joined in with Jane's lessons. She was clever and a good listener too. Jane worked very hard with them, so soon both Bluey and Pinky learned to speak. Hooray! Then Jane asked Bluey, why are you blue? Bluey put his chin forward and said, some are just born different. I like being blue. And why are you pink, Pinky? asked Jane. The mouse only shrugged her shoulders and said, I don't know, but I like being pink too. Jane grew to love Bluey and Pinky very much. One day she invited James to visit the zoo and meet Bluey and Pinky. They walked around looking at all the animals until they came to Bluey and Pinky. This blue hippopotamus is just adorable, exclaimed James. Isn't he? said Jane. She looked at James and suddenly had a thought. Shall we 
adopt him. James nodded and a big smile appeared on his face. Oh, hmm, shall we adopt this amazing pink mouse as well? That little one right there, asks Jane. James smiled again. Jane and James agreed that they would adopt Bluey and Pinky, but first they needed to go to Mr. Square and ask for his permission. Mm-hmm, coughed Mr. Square after hearing them out. The law says that you can adopt any animal at the zoo that weighs less than 300 kilograms. As the blue hippopotamus is only 100 kilograms, you can adopt him. The law says that you must take all the responsibility for bringing him up and teaching him good manners and how to follow the rules. If a member of the public is unhappy with a hippopotamus in any situation and makes a complaint, the hippopotamus must immediately come back to its enclosure in my zoo and stay there forever. What about the pink mouse? asked the Jane cautiously. I don't recognize any mice, especially pink mice in the list of animals in my zoo. The rules say you can take any creature from the grounds of the zoo that is not registered in the list. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, coughed Mr. Square. Hearing the good news, both Bluey and Pinky were delighted. Jane and James immediately saw the animals into the car before Mr. Square could change his mind. Once they had buckled Bluey and Pinky into their seats, they drove off towards their beautiful house. From that day on, Bluey and Pinky started to call their new parents, Mama and Papa. One beautiful sunny day, Mama was very busy and Papa was at work. Mama gave two boxes of colored pencils and two pads of paper to Bluey and Pinky. Bluey, Pinky, she said, please go somewhere quiet, like the drawing room, and draw some pictures while I prepare lunch. Papa will be home soon. Bluey and Pinky were happy with their gifts. They sat down at the table and started to draw. Bluey took a pencil. Now, he said, I am drawing an airplane that is flying and flying and flying and flying off the paper until it reaches the wall. And then it's flying on the other wall to far away countries. And this white wall opposite is Africa covered with jungle and savanna, and this river is the Zambezi, and these are my cousin hippopotamuses lying in the mud. And this is mud and mud, mud. Pinky took the green and the red pencils. I am now drawing a green frog, she said. It is jumping from one page of the pad to hoopla, another, and hoopla, to another, and to another, and then it jumps onto the floor, hoopla. The floor, by the way, is a field, so I have to draw many flowers in red and lots of grass. And now the green frog, here it is, it's jumping from one flower to another. Oh look, Bluey, our floor has become a green field with beautiful flowers. Suddenly, 
they heard the sound of a key in a lock. That was Papa. Bluey and Pinky were so excited that he was home. They ran towards him. Papa, Papa, look! Look what we have drawn! Proudly, they took Papa into the drawing room. Hmm, said Papa looking around. Hmm, he put his hand on his chin. At that moment, Mama came in from the kitchen. She happily announced, lunch is ready. Then she looked around the room. She saw that there were drawings on the walls and on the floor, and she collapsed on a nearby chair. Oh, no, she said. Bluey and Pinky looked at Mama and Papa and understood that something had gone wrong. What is wrong, Mama? This is a drawing room, whispered the blue hippopotamus. Aren't drawing rooms for drawing on? squeaked the pink mouse. Hmm, not exactly, said Papa, and looked at Bluey and Pinky. You made a mistake, but we can fix it together. Suddenly the telephone rang. Mama took the call. Hello? Yes, Mr. Square? Yes, of course. The hippopotamus is with us and the pink mouse as well. How are they? Hmm, they are very well, thank you. Are they behaving? Mama looked at Papa, Bluey and Pinky. Please don't tell Mr. Square, Mama. I don't want to go back to the zoo, whispered Bluey. Pinky just started to cry in a little squeaky soul. Sorry, Mama. Sorry, Papa. Well, Mr. Square, they are learning something new every minute. Thank you. Thank you. We will take care of them. No need to bring them back to the zoo. Mama hung up the receiver to look at Bluey and Pinky. She looked unhappy, but she didn't say anything else. Next morning, Papa bought some cans of white paint and floor cleaner and three brushes. Two big ones and a tiny one. Now, Bluey, Pinky, let's go in and paint the walls and clean the floors. Mama will be happy when she comes home from work. Papa took one big brush, Bluey took the other one, and Pinky took the tiny one. And the three of them painted the walls of the drawing room. Together the job was done very quickly. It was perfect teamwork. And now let's wash the floor, said Papa. He gave a big mop to Bluey, and a little one to Pinky and help them to wash the drawings off the floor. Well done, Bluey. Well done, Pinky. Now remember, please, we never draw on walls and floors. Yes, Papa, said the blue hippopotamus. Yes, Papa, said the pink mouse. The three of them all shared the big hug. When Mama came home, she opened the door of the drawing room and said, Oh, it looks so clean and fresh. Well done. She smiled at Pinky and Bluey and Papa. Now, do you want to see what I have for you in this box? Let me guess, suggested Pinky. More colored pencils? It's colored, but not pencils this time, said Mama. In the box there was ice cream in many colors, pink and blue and white and chocolate in delicious crispy waffle cones. They all sat down together happily in the nice clean drawing room and had their ice creams. <laughs>